Okay, a uh, bit of housekeeping here, um, just to do with things like uh, which cells are protected and why, when to enter and where to enter uh, new pupils. Uh, and so here we go. Okay, uh, Joe Bloggs 1, if you concentrate on him, he or she is in a form called 7, the year 7, and AR, that's the form they're in. So if I was to look at just that form, AR, okay, we filter it like that. Just to note, while it's filtered, you will not be able to unhide these columns here, or these rows. It's greyed out. So if you do need to make any changes, uh, and you want to have a look at the uh, data that's hidden in these rows, uh, then you have to go to the review pane and unprotect the sheet. That's why the password up here, APP, is, uh, is there really. It's there not to stop people editing the sheet, but it's there just to stop casual uh, mistakes messing up the formulas. So APP in capitals and I'm now able to uh, have a look at that and I'll have, go back over here and I'll unhide the rest of these rows. Okay, except it won't happen. Now why is that? Because I've got a filter on. If you want to unhide rows you can't do it with filters already in place. Remove the filter, unhide them, then let's go back to the filter and select AR, form AR. If I want to put the filters back on whilst it's filtered, we notice we can. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. Uh, also, let's say a new pupil enters the school and uh, enters the same form. Um, let's imagine that this pupil is called, not blogs, but uh, blogs one, but with a surname, uh, with a forename D, just for the sake of argument. Well, we aren't going to overwrite someone who's already there. So normally people will simply enter the name of the pupil anywhere or insert a cell, uh, insert a row. Um, I would suggest that you use some of the facility, some of the spare space at the bottom here and then resort like this. So blogs one. Uh, this person has the initial D. Uh, they're in year seven and they're in the form uh, AR. Okay, now to make sure that this person is in the same list when we filter out and alphabetically in the same place. What we're not going to do is just filter and leave it like this. Uh, blogs 1D is at the bottom and in alphabetical order blogs 1D uh, should come ahead of the Joe blogs or the Jane blogs that we've already been looking at. So how to get around this? Well if we put all the filters back to normal again what we're going to do is just sort the entire row. Every single row underneath the freeze pane line can be highlighted and we'll just go through a custom sort and this will make sure that any new pupil simply arrives in the right place, alphabetically speaking, uh, in the forms. So back to the very top, just come down one uh, and now we can uh, go to our data and we can sort. And what we're going to do, we're going to sort this entire lot uh, by, first of all, um, let's sort it by the form, first of all. So we'll sort it by the form, so that will just choose people from form AR. We're going to add another level, we'll sort by the surname, that will be uh, blogs. Uh, blogs 1J and blogs 1D have the same surname, so I'm going to add another level to sort by surname, just in case people have got the same surname. So once I've done that, I can sort it like this, and when I refilter, I'll find that my new pupil, blogs 1D, appears in the correct place, alphabetically sorted. From now on, any changes to this spreadsheet I can save, um, and as long as I remember uh, to add any future pupils and resort them in the same way, the integrity of the formulas and the layout of the spreadsheet should remain uh, the same.